What's up Cherry Blossom family? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and today I have another collection video that I'm bringing you. Today I'm going to be showing you my entire Jim Shore collection. So last month I showed you my entire Loungefly collection, and if you haven't seen that video, I will link it above and also down below for you, but we went over the entirety of that collection. It was a long video. So if you're going to go and watch that, be sure to get a cup of coffee maybe or some snacks and really sit down and enjoy yourself. I have a feeling this video is going to be a little bit similar, but I think it's going to be just a tad bit shorter, I believe. But we have so many different fun categories and I'm so excited to be bringing you these collection videos once per month. If you have any suggestions for the next collection that you would like to see, I know a lot of you have been really interested in seeing my shelf tour, um, so I would be happy to film that for next month's collection video. But today we've got so many fun figurines to go through and I'm so excited to be able to share my collection with you. So why don't we go ahead and just get right into it. Another thing, before we get started, I would love to know if we are figurine twins for any of the figurines that I show you in today's video. Also, I would love for, to know a little bit more about your Jim Shore collection, because I know so many of you that watch the channel and probably that are watching this video also collect Jim Shore. So let me know down below what you collect. But guys, let's go ahead and get right into these figurines. Now I am going to break these off into categories. And something that I do want to mention is just because I show you a certain category doesn't mean that a character from that category is not going to be featured in the holiday section, because there's a lot of holiday characters that also fit into other categories that we're going to be showing today. So the first category is Mickey and friends Next is the original and of course it's the original Mickey Mouse Mickey looks so classic in this figurine I absolutely love it it goes perfectly on my fab five shelf this was sent to me in a magic at your door box I'll link magic at your doors information down below they're a Disney subscription box company but man how cute is this little guy now, this beauty is called Gorsh Gorsh, and this was given to me by my friend Lindsay over at Ears to Mickey Mom. This is Goofy, and she had this as part of her collection, but she no longer collects Goofy and wanted it to go to a good home. And I happen to be on a huge Goofy kick. I'm loving Goofy right now. So he's sitting cross-legged. He's got these really cool flowers that go like around the base of this figurine, and I just think he looks so happy. <laughs> the details in these figurines is so amazing. Here is the next figurine that goes into the Fab Five category. Now, this is called Teetering Tower. It's got Goofy, Donald, and Mickey Mouse. I love that Donald is just stepping on Goofy's head, and then look how angry <laughs> Donald looks. And then Mickey Mouse is like a full-on cheerleader on the top. All of the personality is coming from this statue. We'll do a little turn so you can see the rest of it. Oh, the details in these figurines are so stunning. This was sent to me in an Enchanted Mysteries a Disney subscription box. I will link their Disney mystery boxes down below. Also, Karen from Karen's USA Adventures, that's who owns that company. She does such an amazing job. And this was in my last box, and I love it. The next category is some miscellaneous different figurines that I really, really love from Disney films. So this one's a little bit all over the place, but you guys will understand when you see why I chose the ones that I did. This next figurine is called Romance by Candlelight, and oh my gosh. <laughs> this figurine, I'm not a big Beauty and the Beast collector, however, I fell in love with the Feather Duster's facial expression in this. Look at how excited and happy she is. Same with Lumiere. I, Lumiere is my favorite Beauty and the Beast character. This was given to me by my friend Rowan over at the Disney Damsels. She got me in the Gym Shore box swap that we did together, and this is such a beautiful figurine. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, I love it. This figurine is another one that was given to me uh, by Rowan. This is called Group Hug. Aladdin, Jasmine, the Sultan, 
also Jeannie giving them a big hug. And then my favorite element is carpet. Also, Abu is kind of peeking out over here. This one actually had a little bit of an error in manufacturing, which was interesting. Jeannie is actually missing his goatee, which is kind of fun. Um, I don't mind it at all. It's got really cool tile on the bottom of this figurine, which I think is really interesting. And then this pattern is just so beautiful. We'll do a little spin. I love, <laughs> look at the Sultan's little butt. I'm dead. He is so cute. This was one of those figurines that, although is not a collection, I don't have an Aladdin collection, I fell in love with this figurine and I'm so excited to have it as part of my collection. The Figment, this is one of my most favorite figurines. I'm a huge Figment fan and this was given to me by my friend Jessica over at Oh God Jessica. I will link her channel down below, but what a super cute gift this was. I love that it's got like a rainbow detail around the bottom of the figure. The next category is Lilo and Stitch. Oh, these figurines are so fun and some of them mean a whole lot to me and I'm really excited to share that with you. This next figurine has such a special place in my heart. Also sent to me from Magic Get Your Door. This is the Ohana Means Family figurine and it says Ohana at the bottom. I'm such a huge Stitch fan, but I love the details that they put in here like the little Hawaiian flowers. Also, he's in his alien form, which you don't see very often. Lilo is showing him so much love by giving him this hug and look how happy they both look. Oh my gosh, what a super cute figurine. Also, you'll notice in his alien form, he does have the spikes coming out of his back and his extra set of arms. This next figurine is called Finding a Family. This has a very, very special place in my heart. My best friend and my best friend's mom and I, we all got this figurine together and she calls us her duck her ducklings and this is Stitch reading the Ugly Duckling book. And what's so cool about this is it actually does have the page where you see the little duckling is lost and then it finds its family over here. And so we all got this together. This was like something that we decided to get because we all stayed on a Disney property for the first time together. And it was a really special moment. We stayed at Port Orleans Riverside in one of the princess rooms. And so we all purchased this together. So I love that all three of us have this figurine. This figurine is called Catch the Wave. It is massive and also very heavy. <laughs> it's got Lilo and Stitch catching a wave. And look how much movement is in this figurine. Like Lilo's hair is blowing. This wave is crashing. Look at the joy. And her face. Such a cool figurine. It is just so big. This was from a Be Our Guest Express box. I'm not sure if Be Our Guest Express is still in business, um, but they did Disney subscription boxes and this was one of the figurines that I received in my box. Such a cool addition to my Lilo and Stitch collection. The next category is Wizard of Oz. And for those of you who don't know, I'm actually originally from Kansas. So these figurines kind of represent a little bit of what I would call home. Uh, there's no place like home, right? <laughs> then this is called Adventure to the Emerald City. For those of you who don't know, I'm originally from Kansas. And so this was given to me by Rowan at the Disney Damsels um, for that Jim Shore box top that we did. I will link that video above and down below for you to check out. But this was one of the figurines that she got for me and oh my gosh, it's so incredible. We actually keep it in our library. It does look like it's carved out of wood. It looks very similar to the carved by heart uh, line that Jim Shore does. It's got the Cowardly Lion, Dorothy, the Ten Man, and the Scarecrow. It's got Glinda the Good Witch and also the Wicked Witch of the West and Toto. And what I love is that Dorothy's shoes are glitter. And also the Emerald City does have a little bit of an iridescent element to it. And then as we move around, it actually looks like it's carved from wood. This is definitely one of my most favorite Jim Shores that I own. The next Wizard of Oz figurine I have is the Good Witch giving Dorothy her slippers. This is called the Gift of the Ruby Slipper. And what I love about this is there are some silver metallic details in her crown, her necklace, and also on her dress. But she has a star on her wand that is 
silver glitter. And then Dorothy's ruby red slippers are glitter as well. Such a beautiful figurine. And this is another one that we keep in our library in the front of our house. The next figurines that I'm gonna be showing you are from classic films. So classic films are kind of categorized before the Disney Renaissance. So we're talking Peter Pan, Cinderella, Seven Dwarfs, some of those older films. This little figurine is called Happy, and I'm pretty sure that you can guess why. <laughs> it's Happy Dwarf, and can we, I mean, I feel like you can't really get much happier than that guy. What I love about this is it really kind of looks like he's wearing like this little scarecrow outfit, which I think is kind of fun. This figurine was also given to me by Rowan at the Disney Danzels from that box swap that we did. Oh my goodness, look how cute he is. I love this figurine. Again, one of my most favorites from my collection. He is just so precious. And of course, I had to get this giant figurine called Homeward Bound. Now, this is all of the seven dwarves on their way home to their little cottage, and they are all in different really fun outfits with different elements that you see in Jim Shore designs a lot, like floor de -lis, checkered patterns, quilted patterns and also some really fun color blocking in some of them as well. And what I love about this is the log even has some flower details on it. And look at all of these really cute mushrooms underneath the log. This is one that we actually have displayed in the main portion of our house, just because it really is so stunning. It's also very large, um, but I love that each of the dwarves are really captured in this figurine so you can really tell their different personalities. Such a cool addition to my collection and one of my most treasured for sure. This little figurine is called Crafty Tink. Now this figurine lives in my craft room where I like to sew. She actually lives right beside my sewing machine. I purchased her because I thought she was perfect for my craft room and also she looks so dainty. I love the little pom-poms on her shoes and also her kind of suspended onto this spool. And what's really fun detail is like there's a little piece of string kind of here that you can see. And then here's the detail in her wings. Such a pretty and dainty little figurine. This is a very fragile figurine, so I think I'm actually going to get a more sturdy shelf. Right now she's sitting on my windowsill, and I actually think I want to place her onto a shelf, so I think I'll be doing that in the near future. This next figurine is called Tea for Two, and I love Gus Gush and Jock. They are such cute little mice. And so we have Jock inside of the cup. He is in the red, and then also Gus Gus, and it looks like they are hiding out in a teacup or watching something happen in a teacup. There's all these really pretty Florida de -lis patterns. It is kind of the size of a teacup. It's pretty accurate, might be a little bit oversized, but I love the purple detail of it. Purple happens to be my favorite color. And I don't know if you can see that, there we go. But I love the detail of their little tails. So Jock's tail is metal and Gus Gus's tail is actually made of the resin, which is the same uh, that they are made out of. But I love that there is a detail of that inside. This is such a cute figurine. My mom actually has this same figurine. And so now we are twinning with our teacups. Tea for two, mom. <laughs> So this little box started it all. This was actually my very first Jim Shore that I had ever been given. This was given to me by my mom before I moved to Alaska many, 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 many years ago, 2004. <laughs> and you'll notice that Jacques' head is a little bit um, wobbly. So this is a very fragile figurine. It's got Gus Gus and Jacques in their different outfits. And this actually is a little box. So you can place things into it. I don't put anything into it. I just display this on on my shelf. Also, you may notice Jacques' nose is actually missing, but this has been through about 10 moves with us, so it's been all over um, Alaska. Actually, it traveled the country with me from Kansas all the way to Alaska when we drove up here. Um, it's got, he's got a really beautiful jacket. Jacques' jacket is so cool. And it's definitely an older style. You can tell it's an older style gym shore, but definitely one of my most prized possessions that I own is this box. Thanks, Mom. This figurine is called Darling Dreamer. Now, this figurine was some something that I bought for my craft room. I believe that 
this, I believe that this came out last year or the year before, and it's all in like this really pretty, what I would call like winter white look. She's got such beautiful patterns on her dress, but what I love about it is this is her pink dress that the mice made for her. And so that's the reason why I was so drawn to it because I do collect Cinderella and her pink dress and the mice, and those are something that I keep in my craft room. So this is actually, um, a figurine that goes in my craft room along with that tink figurine. It's got little pumpkins and also there is Susie on top of a spool. So here are the mice detail. There's a Gus. Here's Jacques on this side looking up at her. Susie on the little spool of thread and we'll do some details all the way around. Isn't that such a gorgeous dress? Look at that little ribbon that goes down and the ribbon around her. Oh my goodness. I love this figurine. It's so classic. It's so 1950s, right? Like with her hair and everything. And also her face is so pretty. Yes, this figurine, chef's kiss. The next category and the biggest category by far is my all-time favorite movie, The Little Mermaid. And I hope that you love these figurines as much as I do. There are so many fun ones in there. And there is one Little Mermaid figurine that's in a different category. It's Halloween and it's a little bit interesting and I can't wait to share that one with you too. We're gonna start with this little flounder figurine that is the personality figurine and this is called Go Fish. <laughs> Look how cute flounder looks. Oh, I think they captured him so beautifully in this. Also, I love that they have like an iridescent element on the crashing wave that's holding him up. And then as we turn him around, he's got the little pattern on his stripes. And he is just such a little cutie. This beautiful figurine is called Sanctuary by the Sea. They did an entire princess collection like this where their castle was in their dress. Now the castle that they chose was Prince Eric's castle. Ariel's like clutching onto like this long strand of pearls in this, which I think is such an interesting pose for her. Also like the coloration around her dress, like in the castle is so vibrant and beautiful. This is where she saves Eric on the beach, which is really fun. She's got a really pretty comb in her hair. She's got really pretty earrings as well. And then the Florida de lis patterns go all the way around her dress and she's got that epic aerial hair as she always does. This figurine is so, so pretty. So here is Waiting for a Kiss. So this is the Kiss the Girl scene. It features Prince Eric. This is also a very heavy figurine. Flounder here at the bottom. And then it's got a very strange looking Sebastian who has kind of like a little smushy face. And then here is Prince Eric's face. So you'll get a close up of that. Ariel has got her epic hair. So stunning. I love her peasant dress. This is my favorite dress that she is in. But then you look at how her face looks. It definitely is a little bit off. She's got really pointy and really slender features, which isn't really like what you would see with Little Mermaid, but I do think that this statue is really beautiful. And because you usually only look at it from profile, it looks beautiful on a shelf. So I do really like this figurine. So here is a figurine that they did for the Little Mermaid 30th anniversary. Now this is such a cool figurine. It definitely reminds me of like the older school Jim Shore style of figurines where it's got kind of like the white and like almost like watercolor kind of painted on the rocks. And it does have Ariel, something that I will note, I do like her face, but she's got brown eyes in this statue, which is a little bit odd because she is a blue-eyed princess. <laughs> and I do love the movement in this figurine, like her hair is really flippy uppy, and then it's got flounder in her hair. And I love that she's got like these little flowers on this like moss or whatever you would call this. And then look at that flip up of the hair. So much movement, it really is a beautiful figurine. I just wish that she would have had blue eyes. <laughs> I'm so picky. I'm sorry. I'm so picky. This figurine was sent to me in a Bippity box and they are a Disney subscription box company. I will leave Bippity boxes information down below so you guys can go and check them out. But that's where I got this figurine. Here is the Mermaid by Moonlight figurine. Oh my gosh. This figurine is so pretty. 
I absolutely love this scene of the film. Ariel is beautifully crafted. I love her fin with the Florida Lee patterns. They also decided to do that iridescent pattern like they did on that flounder figurine that I showed you earlier, but here is the best part. It lights up and isn't that such a gorgeous, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Like if I had a room that needed a light night light, this would be the night light. It's so stunning, but for right now, it lives on a beautiful shelf in my YouTube space. <laughs> Here we have Wedding Bliss. So this is the Eric and Ariel wedding statue. Another one of my favorites from the collection because from my collection because it's such a unique statue. Like you very rarely see these statues. This was sent to me in a magic at your door box. Ariel looks so beautiful in her dress. I love that they stayed true to her puffy sleeves that she has. Very 1980s. We've got Eric's mullet also. Hello, friend. What a beautiful um, body yada yada he's got. I think that this is such a gorgeous representation of them. They have an entire series of princess wedding figurines, and I'm so fortunate to have gotten this one from a magic at your door box. This actually is in my office at work because I love it so much. I want to look at it every day, all day. So it is there in my office at work. <laughs> So here is the White Woodlands collection of Ariel's figurine. This is called Spirited Siren, and it's got Ariel and also Scuttle and Max. And the reason why I love this collection so much is because the pastel colors just make it such a unique looking collection. Also, I love that the princesses are with their sidekicks, but what's really interesting is these two sidekicks are hardly ever featured in anything Little Mermaid, so this statue was an absolute must-have for my collection. Um, Scuttle is such an underrated character in the film and has barely any representation. She is in her pink dress, which is so pretty. Lots of fleur-de-lis patterns going around, and then we will do a little flippity-flip. You can see her epic hair again, so beautiful. And then there she is. Oh my goodness. So this figurine was sent to me in a bippity box and my goodness, it is the highlight of my collection. She's got an entire shelf dedicated to her. This statue is massive. I don't know if you can see how big that is, but here's my hand outstretched and it's bigger than my hand outstretched, which is wild. So all of the tentacles are so large. It has Ariel and also Flotsam and Jetsam on Ursula's stomach. She's like, who, me? <laughs> Look at this little hand on her chest. She's got an epic mullet. Let's take a peek. And also we would be remiss if we did not mention her body language. Yes, queen. We love Ursula. I am in love with this figurine. It is another highlight of my collection. And when I do my shelf tour, you will definitely see this highlighted in a very special way. And it wouldn't be a video of mine if we didn't mention King Triton or who we call a daddy over here on the channel. He's got rippling abs. He's got giant hands, his trident. Also, there's some like coral and fun details on the bottom. What is so interesting about this is look how tiny Ariel looks. Ariel looks like the size of his arm. <laughs> I feel like they could have made her just a little bit bigger, but I mean, it really shows some perspective of how giant King Triton actually is. He's got really beautiful floor de lis pattern on his fins. I mean, he's beautifully sculpted. Like, they made his face perfect. Absolutely perfect. And then here is the back of the statue. Like back like a barrel full of rattlesnakes. We've got some coral, some seashells, some seaweed. And then there's tiny itty bitty Ariel. And I love, I've never actually like looked for this before, but her little um, bra has a little tie on the back, which is really fun. Wow, this figurine, another one of my favorites. This giant clamshell is called Seashell Scenario. So this seashell scenario is another one of the focal points of my collection um, of my shelving. It holds most of our favorite characters. It holds a King Triton, hashtag daddy though. It has his castle, so Atlantica is featured. Then it's got 
Ursula looking over her shoulder, can we just? Well, with Flotsam and Jetsam, chef's kiss, we've got Ariel, Eric, Flounder, and Sebastian, and then also those pearlescent waves kind of underneath them, and then this is literally a clamshell. It is so giant, though. I don't know if you're catching on to how giant it is, but um, definitely need two hands to handle it because you don't want to drop it. And uh, this is a new one that actually came out, I believe, in 2019, late 2019. This storybook collection storybook that is Little Mermaid is called Under the S Undersea Dreaming. And it says Once Upon a Time, and this features Eric's statue. Oh, but this is actually my favorite scene, the part of your world scene, my most favorite scene out of the film. And Eric is in his statue form, which, oh my gosh love that i actually got to see that in tokyo disney it literally made me so happy <laughs> going into that cavern and experiencing that was so neat ariel looks beautiful she's staring into eric's eyes her hair is moving her fins have little floor de lis flounder and sebastian are also featured here it does have eric's like crest so this is the exact exact statue including his e that's on his chest and then the back of the book uh, does have the Little Mermaid in the Little Mermaid font. And then here is the storybook pages. These storybook figurines are so stunning. I have three of them in my collection. And um, this is definitely my favorite of the three. And the next category is going to be holidays. So the holidays are going to include Easter. 4th of July, Halloween, and also Christmas. Now, these figurines are not figurines that I keep out all year round. They're definitely for decoration purposes, so you won't see those in like my shelf tours in the future, but you definitely will see them in my Decorate With Me videos, and I have two Decorate With Me videos. One is Christmas and also one is Halloween. I would love for you to check out both of those displays that I did last year because it features a lot of those figurines and so, so much more. So here is Thumper. So this little Thumper figurine is one that I use when I decorate for Easter. So here's Thumper with his one tooth. He is such a cute little character. And look at the pattern that they put onto him. Isn't he beautiful? So here's his details on his back. And then flip him around. He is such a little cutie. Perfect for some spring decor. Here is one of my 4th of July decorations. This figurine is just called Minnie. And Minnie is wearing a completely patriotic outfit, including a patriotic bow and also a patriotic dress. And she has her little American flag waving. I think this is such a cute pose for her. She looks so happy and so joyous. This actually lives on my tiered tray. So she is a decoration for the 4th of July. And oh my gosh, is she the cutest? Love her. This next 4th of July figurine is called Banner Day. And something that I really love about this figurine, instead of doing like the fleur-de-lis along the bottom of the base of this, they actually did the American flag, which I think is fun. Then this features Pluto and also Mickey Mouse. And Mickey Mouse has stars. Do you see those little stars in his ears? Such a cute detail. He's holding an American flag. It looks like they're like at a parade or something. And look at those tails. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is definitely something that is displayed in my living room for the entire month of June and July to celebrate the 4th of July. Here is a really cool non-Disney figurine that is Jim Shore. And this one doesn't have a name, but this is a black cat that features like little candy corns all the way around the base and a candy corn witch hat. This was given to me by Josh Goes to Disney in a box swap. I will link his channel down below. But I used to own a black cat, and so I love everything with black cats because I just think they're so cute. There's that really cool wire tail. And also, I love the color purple. Purple, so I love that the Florida Lees are in a beautiful purple pattern. And I don't know if you can see this up close. Let's see. But this little kitty has whiskers, and the whiskers are actual 
pieces of thread. It's such a neat detail in this figurine. One of my favorite Halloween decorations. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> okay, this is such a cool figurine. This is called a Stitcho Lantern. Now, this was sent to me last year in my Mickey Loot box, and so I'm so excited to finally be able to display it because I got it a little bit late in the Halloween season, so it only got to be out for like a week or two, but now I have the opportunity to display it right when it's time for Halloween. So we have Stitch poking out of a pumpkin, and then look at all these really pretty Floor de lis and what you'll notice is this is such a chunky figurine like it's a literal pumpkin how cool is that and i don't know it's kind of hard to see oh there we go so here are the eyes and nose and also mouth so it's a stitch of lantern because he's poking out of the mouth of the jack-o-lantern and i will leave mickey loot's information down in the description box down below if you want to check them out because they are really awesome and they do great themed boxes now, speaking of stitch, this stitch was given to me by my friend Robin at Oh Hello Robin. I will link Robin's channel below. This is called Devilish Delight, and this is Stitch. In his devil costume, he's holding a pitchfork. He's got these super cute little horns on his hood. Like, look at this hood, you guys. <laughs> he's got a little devil tail. I, oh my gosh, this figurine is so cute. There's a little jack-o'-lantern with all these really cool leaves and fleur de lis on the bottom. This is such a great figurine. What fun personality. He looks like so natural in this state of being a devil, which I think is so fun. I love seeing these figurines of Stitch in different ways, especially, especially Halloween ones and also Christmas ones. He is just such an adorable character. So this next figurine is called Gambling Ghoul. Now this was sent to me in a Be Our Guest Express box. How stunning. So first of all, I want to point out like this barb wire or like thorn element that we have instead of fleur de lis around the bottom. So neat. Also, you can see Oogie's stitching so, so well. And look at all of those little bugs poking out of him and out of his mouth and out of his side. The purple fleur de lis are stunning. I love that purple color. And then the details in his dice are like next level. So they actually have the dice that has the skull on it. There's all these like little skulls. They did a very, very good job in detailing this, but he's a chunky character. Boop, 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 we love that. What a cool figurine. Great for display for Halloween. I'm so excited to share with you guys my Halloween display again this year. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it above and down below because I was so proud of my Halloween display and it's gonna be even more epic this year. Moving on to another gorgeous Halloween figurine. Now it can go both ways. It can be Christmas or Halloween, but this is called Once Upon a Nightmare. This is from their storybook collection. Jim Shore has a lot of storybook collection figurines. And this is my, I have three of them in total, I believe in my collection, but we have Jack and Sally on that really pretty spindly mountain. We've got the pumpkin patch that is all in snow. Zero is actually going through a tombstone which is so neat Florida Lee is going up the side and what's so cool about this is on the back it actually looks like a storybook that says Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas and then there are the pages these storybook figurines are some of my favorites just because I think they're so unique and beautiful looking love this again this was from magic at your door and last last on the on the halloween front is called deliciously greedy this is a trick or treat ursula statue now i have to say this statue is very confusing to me but i'm also living for it at the same time like i want to be very clear so ursula is on the beach so there is sand everywhere she's holding all different types of candies lollipops chocolate bars other lollipops and she's like having the best time apparently trick-or-treating <laughs> but what i love about this is it's like beach on the top and then it looks under the sea down here which is a really cool detail she is like having like, <laughs> she's so happy i mean i guess if i had that many treats i would be that happy too and then as you turn her around girl we love her look at her back look at her booty oh my gosh also look at her mullet <sighs> we are obsessed this is another one that i got from a magic at your door halloween box and i 
I love this. I love this figurine. <laughs> So this figurine was given to me by my friend Karen over at Karen's USA Adventures. This is called Warm Wishes. And this is Mickey and Minnie actually in a Christmas quilt. So they're cuddling inside of a Christmas quilt. You've got Christmas colored fleur de -lis going all the way around. But take a look at this really cool quilt. So inside the quilt has little Santa Clauses on it, which I think is so cute. And they are just wearing their normal outfits. So Mickey's got his red pants on and Minnie has got her blue dress and this is such a super cute figurine I will leave Karen's channel down below be sure to go and check her out she's really awesome thank you Karen so here is another storybook that is called Merry Christmas and so it's got um, Mickey and Minnie Pluto Goofy and Donald and Daisy it says Merry Christmas here at the bottom and then it's got snow but look at all those really cool snowflakes and my favorite part of this statue is Pluto because look Pluto is closing his eyes and he is belting like he is full on Christmas Carol singing right now we are so here for it and then this is a green storybook it doesn't have a title um sorry a little styrofoam on there it doesn't have a title which is okay there are the book pages and then let's turn this on the street lamp turns on let's turn this off so you can see it there we go so there is the street light that turns on. This I got in a Magic at Your Door Christmas box. And this is one that I keep on my um, TV stand during Christmas time because it is just so pretty. So here is a figure that I actually forgot to put in the video. So I'm really, really sorry. This is the Stitch Bad Wrap figurine and it is so adorable. He is in his alien form and he's got all of his different arms and they are holding ribbons and they are holding tape and they are holding the wrapping paper down. It is such a cute figurine. It's actually uh, fairly large too. I got it from a magic at your door box last year and I will link that unboxing above and down below for you so you can check it out in real life. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get it out to actually show you but it's buried deep in my Christmas uh, decor and I totally spaced grabbing it. Now, the next three that are from the Christmas section are all from the same like princess and Christmas ball type of pattern or type of collection. This one is called Tidings of Friendship. Now, as you can tell, I've had a little bit of an issue. Um, while this was being stored, the ball actually um, came off and I'm gonna have to fill this with like some glue or some plaster or something and then reattach it to Cinderella. But inside is a Christmas ball that has Gus and Jacques and it does kind of dangle there in Cinderella's dress. Cinderella is wearing a special Christmas dress which is really beautiful with all this like fur lining around it and she's got these really cool long gloves let's spin her around so you can see look at that cape <laughs> these are some of my most favorite Christmas figurines these were featured in my Christmas decor video I will link that above and also down below for you to check out because these were featured heavily in my Christmas display for YouTube and I would love for you to check that out but isn't she just beautiful? <laughs> okay, this one cracks me up. And the reason why is because um, the other two have like some sort of ruffle that goes like around the waist. Now Rapunzel does not. Doesn't it look like Rapunzel's got these like giant like tall pants on and she's like straddling Pascal? <laughs> oh, I love, I'm serious. Like I just, I can't. So Pascal is looking extremely dapper. Do you see Pascal has a bow tie on? Yes, Pascal, we are so here for that. So here is Rapunzel. She is looking very pointy. She's got a very pointy nose. I'll show you that in a minute. But oh my gosh, let's take a moment. Look at that hair. <gasps> Girl, that looks delicious. Okay, and then look at her little face. Look at her nose. That's what I'm talking about. She looks a little bit pointy, but isn't she so, so beautiful? She's got her Christmas dress on, which is just this like fur detail here. And then her like perfect purple and pink corset as usual. And then all of these have this same floor to leave pattern that go around the bottom. This one is called Tidings of Joy. And so the last one was called Tidings of Friendship. So we've got one more. Let's see what that one is called. And this is called Tidings of Wonder. And of course, we had to save the best for last, in my opinion. We've got Ariel. And what I love about this Ariel statue is she's got 
uh, well, I love her in her teal dress, but she's got this really cool cape that has purple and red elements, but she's got holly and berry in her hair, which is so stunning. They molded her perfectly. Like her face looks beautiful. Flounder's looking so adorable. I just love all of the different colors that they chose for this. It's very aerial. Same floor to Lee pattern, but guys, look at the back of this dress. Oh my gosh, look at all that teal. And then look how gorgeous her giant hair is. And then her uh, cape as well. I would like to get all of these from this collection. I believe I'm missing like, I think it's two or three. Um, but I definitely will try to collect all of these. That is gonna do it, guys. That is my entire Gymshore collection. Upcoming on the channel is gonna be a Gymshore box swap, so I would love for you to subscribe down below if you haven't. If you enjoyed seeing this collection, please give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know, are we figurine twins? Do we have some collections in common? I would love to know. And plus, is there any gym shore figurines that you kind of have on your wish list i would also love to know that i had so much fun hanging out with you i hope that you're enjoying these collection videos and let me know down below what the next collection you would like to see is and with that being said guys that's going to do it for me thank you so so much for being here and i will see you guys in the next video ttfn bye